Hello there, and thank you for joining me today with our Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler. Today we're going to be talking about voicemail, specifically how to set up to check those remotely and check them remotely. So the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is to lock into our website. Now, there are a couple of different ways that we can get this set up for you to check them remotely. The first is to have those voicemails saved directly to your cell phone. Now, to do so, you will need to go into the switchboard. So we're going to log into the switchboard. Of course, you will need to know which switchboard you are going into. Now, to help you identify that switchboard, please check out our video on call forwarding as it gives you the whole rundown. Now, that is the kind of voicemail that we are setting up today is the call forwarding voicemail being saved to your cell phone. So we're going to forward those to your cell phone for them to be saved there. Now, again, if you need any refreshers on call forwarding, please check out that video and I will link that in the description below. But first, we're going to come down here to our external transfer, which, as you should be aware, is our call forwarding. Now, to have those voicemails saved directly to your cell phone, the require one to connect that we have enabled here, we will want to make sure that is disabled. So we will uncheck that. Then the timeout, we're going to want to increase because depending on the cell carrier depends on when that cell will take ownership of that call. So we like to do 120 seconds. Your phone will not ring that long. That just ensures that your phone takes the phone call. It'll ring for however long until your cell phone takes ownership, then continue the ring process for their ring. For example, if your ring is only set for 30 seconds, but they take ownership after 20, it'll ring for the 20 seconds via Mango. They'll take ownership and ring that last 10. So you're still only getting that 30 second ring time. Once you have that all set, You'll click save here in the top right hand corner. And now your cell phone will take all of those voicemails. Now, sadly, I can't walk you through checking those voicemails on your cell phone, but you should be aware of how to do that. If not, you will want to contact the carrier of your cell phone and they can show you how to do that. Next, I'm going to show you how to keep this enabled and have them sent to the Mango system and then we'll get them saved there. Now, first things first, we're going to stay in the switchboard here and identify where voicemails are being saved. So in these voicemail objects here, we can see that the voicemails are being saved in extension 100, 100 here as well. And down here, it's different. We got 104. So we got to make sure we know where voicemails are being saved. During the open hours, it looks like they're being saved on 100. And during the closed hours, it looks like they're being saved on 100 as well. But those appear to be non-emergency voicemails. Then 104 is emergency voicemails. So what we're gonna do is now that we know where those are being saved, we're gonna go into our extension settings. So we're gonna click back here and exit our switchboard. Then we're gonna come over here to the extensions and click the plus button. That is gonna open up several more options and we're gonna click on lines. Now for emergency voicemails, those are being saved on extension 104. So we're gonna enter 104. Then we're going to scroll down through these settings and find the voicemail options. Now what we want to do to check these remotely is we want to enable the email notifications. And right here, we're going to want to change that to yes. Now what that means is it's going to send an email after the voicemail is saved directly to the phone. Attach voicemail message. We want to say yes, because we want to attach that voicemail in the email. That way you can listen to it from your email. Delete message after send. Now this will delete it off of the phone once it sent it to your email address. That way you don't have to check it in two places on your phone and your email. You can just check it in your email. We can, however, change that to no. That way it's saved on both the phone and your email address. That way you can check them on both if you want. Then we just have to put in the email address that we want those voice messages sent to. Once we have the email address in place, we're going to click update extension. That's going to save it. Now, every time a voicemail is left on extension 104, we're going to get a copy of that voicemail sent to my email address. If we come back into that, we can scroll down and see that it is still there. Now to check those voicemails from your email address, you simply have to log into your email. If you have an app on your phone, that will work as well. Go into the email and there it is right there. There's a copy of a voicemail. So to check those, we're just going to open up that email 
and we have the attachment right there. We can download it and listen to it, or you can just click on it and listen to it right there as well. Once it's done, you can just click anywhere and you're done. If you do chose to save it on your phone, you can go in your office, listen to it there as well, and delete it off of your phone. If you had them deleted automatically, you don't have to worry about it. And that's really all there is to it, to checking your voicemails remotely. There's those two options, cell phone and your email. Thank you again for joining me today with your Mango Voice tutorial. And if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.